Well, let me move back a little so you can see what's going on here. I'm gonna do most of this on the GoPro today so I can kind of have it up under the truck more, see what's going on. Y'all can watch some. Got my oil drained over lunch. Um, yeah, we'll just get that pan out, pull the pump down. I got my new pump. It is a Melling M72. Got some ultra black and it does come with a gasket. A lot of people, they don't, they don't believe in gaskets for oil pumps for some reason. But there it is. Small but mighty. Insert the mounting neck. Blah, blah, blah. I'll have to double, double back and check and see what my torque is for this. I don't think it's very much like 35 probably. But yeah, I'll get it thrown in today and uh, pick up my gaskets and new intermediate shaft that the O'Reilly's uh quick as i can so y'all hang out hopefully i'll be ready before race day Uh-huh. How do you like that? I was holding the GoPro in my mouth. That's how uh, talented I am. I guess I did use the one piece. Awesome sauce. Take that pan out and have a look. There's our pump. Alright, so... Here is, you can see that bottom of our pan. Got some shiny in it, but also there's a piece of something laying here. Um, I don't really know. Let me get it wiped off and have a look. I'm going to guess maybe that's a piece of windage tray. It has been struck before. Right there. <sighs> Let me bring my rag and myself. Get back under here and look. I mean, there's a few pieces of shiny down here. Feel any other big chunks? Hmm. All right. Welcome back to what was in Joe's oil pan, and it was a piece of the windage tray. I was right. That was that front corner. Hopefully, you can see that. It just kind of goes like that. Why did that get broken out of there? Um, is a good question. I'm going to pull the tray down and turn that motor over. Probably check that rod right there. It doesn't seem to have any slack in it. You see my ARP bolts and 
I don't remember if those were H-beam or I-beam. Uh, came in that kit. Uh, the rod's not blue on the end, so that, to me that would mean that it hasn't spun a bearing, but it's better off better off looking at it than just uh, bolting it together and going. But yeah, I, I guess the windage tray has been self-clearanced, so it's pretty custom. You can't buy one of those or pre-clearanced, huh? Uh, let's see, two bolts, nine sixteenths. Pull my oil pump down, and I'll get it out of the way, and then take my windage tray off and have a look. There's that part number for the mini starter if you want to buy one. I get that at O'Reilly's, 17466, and uh, that one's a remand. But uh, yeah, basically, it, I've had two of them go out whenever the motor kicked back and it destroyed the starter. I took the starter right up there, they had one in stock, switched it out, put it on, finished racing that day. So. Yeah oil pump out I didn't see anything in the screen nothing in there um, I did flip this over and my shaft actually moved just a little bit Let's see if it won't fall out of there there we go yep. there it is I was wrong. That, that's closer to an inch instead of three quarter inches. I, I apologize. I told y'all yesterday. But uh, my buddy Johnny Mopar said I ought to um, pull this pump apart and kind of look inside of it, see what's in there. And I may do that here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and get the pickup off of it and get it locked in the vise, check it out. But. If y'all hadn't seen his channel yet, that's Johnny, J-O-N-N-Y, Mopar. I'll try to put a link up. He's a good dude. He knows a lot. And he's got some cool cars, uh, especially if you like A-bodies. Check him out. Uh, I, I've been needing to brag on him for a while. We've had some good conversations. Um, uh, so y'all check that out. Johnny Mopar. But while we're here, I got that piece of shaft there. I'm going to see if I can't get that pump to move a little bit. Is it totally locked up tight? There we go. Let's see. Yep. No way. It's super locked up. It would take Jesus to spin that one. So, I don't know why it happened, but there it is. I'll get it taken apart. Pump's over here. Pickup's off. Got my bolts out. You can get the first look with me here. What's going on? I'm like Marvin Gaye. I want to know what's going on. Ooh. Hmm. Grab the right tool. I poured lots of oil out of it. It was definitely not dry in there.
I don't know. I don't, I can't get it to move at all, so. Guess I'll know where to throw it. Windage tray's off. Here is that front corner that broke. Uh, it's a little jagged looking, but it it's okay. When I roll in like this, you can see where it rubbed. But it doesn't rub anymore. Also rubbed right here. And a little bit. Boom. Boom. Barely. And boom. So, what is that? One, two, three, four, six out of eight rods touched. Um, I don't think they're touching anymore. And probably what should have happened was they all got shimmed just barely underneath this to raise this up. This is the Mopar Performance windage tray. Uh, while I got you here, I pulled a couple, I mean, I pulled a rod cap. I'm going to show you those bolts. They look good. Scat, what does it say? ARP 8740. Anyway, there's that number one rod cap, and I'll show you that bearing. Let me try to get you in the sunlight. Mm, it might be too bright. So I got some scoring. Yes, the only copper spot that I see is that very, very edge right there. So Overall, I just, I try to run my fingernail across it. I can't catch anything in the groove. There's no, you know, there's, there's grooves there, but they're so minute that I, I'm not scared to throw that back in and run it a little while longer. I'm not saying, you know, for years, anything like that, but I think it would make it a little while. The, the crankshaft journal itself looks really, really good. Let's look up. You kind of see some, uh operation here that says r44 on the bottom of that piston icon r44 um there's that crank journal it's just beautifully gorgeous you know there's a little bit of scoring not very much at all you know if it uh if it got all new bearings right now, that wouldn't hurt anything, but I'm kind of leaning towards uh, put it back together, try the new oil pump. Um, everything's good. I'll run a little while longer and pull it out, freshen it up here pretty soon. All right, I wanted to show you all real quick. Um, I didn't used to know this, so I figured I'd share with you. This is a oil pan gasket from a 2000 Dodge 1500 uh, with a 360. Just be sure and tell them 360 if you got a 360 because the seal in the back is different. Um, but I think it was $37 at O'Reilly's. And I just got it bolted in place right now to glue it. I'm using a little bit of black RTV underneath it. Some people say you don't have to, like it's getting good and tacky now, so I can pull these bolts out and it'll stay there. But just across here, still got a good squeeze to it. It's barely black, so. Um, but I definitely think that seals better than the old cork and two piece, especially like under here right now. I didn't have to, I mean, you saw me earlier, I didn't have to jack the motor up on the red sled. Um, it's an 87, 88 model uh, I did have to jack it up just barely to get the oil pan out of it one day but um, yeah this is ready to go back in so it's on filled up I've got the shaft down there oil pump drive shaft got my drill ready I'm going to stick this camera in like this and hopefully you'll be able to watch the gauge here on the left. That's oil pressure. We need to see that move. If it doesn't move after a little while, I'll turn the motor over. And hopefully we'll get oil pressure back. Y'all keep watching. I'll see if it works.
of the day. Got the distributor dropped in. I had to retime it, so I don't know where it's at. Uh, hopefully, we got a, a decent uh, rebuild here. Let's see what happens. a little slow to me and tighten that up a little probably cut that pump off too for a minute then we see something running Sounds better. And the oil pressure is already moving. I can see it. Let's go a little mo. Little mo, little Larry, little curly. That's probably plenty of mo. Fire. That sucked it down anyway.